Welcome to episode 35 of Through the Mail Autographs. Today I think we got 16 returns. Let's see what we got. Two of three in 15 days. USFL Rick Partridge. All I could get is three of these cards, and he didn't sign one of them. So that's cool. I think he played in the NFL too. I just didn't have time to search for any of his cards, but I'm collecting these USFL cards right now. Three of four in 17 days. Mr. Frank Tanana. Sent him four, and I think he signed three of them. Didn't get the hostess signed. I like food issue cards. I like trying to get those signed. There's like a 70, I don't know. Was that 75 hostess or something? 77 hostess. And 82 tops. I think that's why I sent to him because I think I needed that 82 tops. For some reason, I don't think he signed it like two different times I sent it. So there's an 87 tops also. So, all right. We'll get through that on top. I like, I like the food issue stuff too. Six for six in 33 days. All right, Doug Sisk. There's an 84 tops for the set. 87 Fleer, 89 Tops, 88 Donruss, 87 Tops, Ooh, second 87 Tops in a row, 88 Score. Let's go ahead and keep that uh, 5 for 5 in 36 days. Archie Siana Franco, Siana Franco. Some of these names are hard to pronounce. <laughs> I think that's, I can't remember what that is, maybe a 95 collector's choice, maybe? 94 per deck, maybe? I don't remember these. 92 Pinnacle. 93 Fleer. And that's either 92 or 93 donors, I can't remember. I think it's a 92 upper deck. I think we'll go with the upper deck, it's a cool card. All right, two for four in 68 days. Well, this is my longest request out so far. Ernest Biner. Now I'm gonna have to send a photo I have of him and I together. We worked at a card show together and he didn't sign these two. I wanna send that hologram back out. But cool, I'm gonna throw this on top. Normally I like this flare better, but that upper deck looks pretty nice. Four for four in 17 days. Here's some vintage, Tom Bradley. I guess he lives about an hour and 15 minutes from me. Did not know that until uh, I watched one of Michael Myers' videos, and he lives in the same town as this guy, so. Uh, and I live an hour and 15 minutes from him, so. Thought that was pretty cool, so I had to send to him, because he lives in West Virginia, so close by. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the 72 tops. Always like that set. Six for six in 28 days. Ah, Mr. Glenn Hubbard. One of my favorite players of all time. Always liked him. Uh, it's 89 Donruss and 82 Tops. And 83 Donruss and 89 Fleer and 81 Tops and an 88 Donruss. Now, normally I wouldn't pick the 88 Donruss, but that really pops. Wow, I never realized that those would pop that nice. Two for two in 17 days. Ah, here we go. Bobby Valentine. I don't know if that's his rookie or not, because some of these guys had two or three of these kind of cards where they're on things. But, and a 73, nice. That would look nice in the vintage album. Very nice. Two for two in 28 days. Ben Coates for the Patriots. Former Patriot, I should say. But yeah, Ben Coates was a heck of a player. As Michael Myers would say, he's a borderline Hall of Famer. He should be in a Hall of Fame. I don't know why he's not in there yet. But me, like Michael, we have plenty of people that we think they deserve to be in. And they probably some of these guys probably do. I, I think he has a good, good chance. He was a good player. Two for two in 32 days. Well, we had some vintage ones. And how about some newer ones? I sent these probably two or three weeks apart from each other. Tell you the truth, I forgot I had sent these out. For some reason, sometimes when I do batches of, like, letters, I don't remember to write down, like, everybody I sent to. And I just found that out the other day, too. I did the same thing. There was about a 25 batch that I sent, and I, don't, I have no idea who I sent to. So I'll probably be sending to some people 
twice again accidentally. Six for six in 15 days. But like I said, I have about 700 letters written in the past 63 days. So all I do is write letters pretty much. Ah, uh, this is nice. Six for six. Dick Schofield. His son uh, played shortstop for the Angels, I believe. The 71 tops. Oh, nice. 70 tops for the Red Sox. I think Frank M. would like that. He's a big Red Sox fan. A cards fan. Any of those? 69. Nice. Here's a Dodgers. 67. I didn't realize he played for so many teams. This is the one I remember him as. Is, I mean, I don't remember him playing, but I remember reading the, you know, history and stuff that he played for the Pirates. 63 tops and a 61 top signed very nicely I'm gonna have to go with the 61 that looks pretty nice I like getting those old vintage pirates four for four nine days nice JC Martin trophy right there 62 tops beautiful 66 tops and a lot of you guys are probably thinking uh why does it say to Nick? Well, my daughter writes letters, and her middle name is Nicole, and she's like, I don't want my name on it, so can I just shorten Nicole to Nick? I'm like, yeah, do whatever you want. So she writes Nick on her stuff when she writes letters. And so that's a nice uh, autograph to her. There's a 61 tops rookie. So I got 61 and 62. Cool. Got the rookie in the uh, rookie cup. And a 1960. Oh, this is the one where uh, I think he's pictured over here. And this is uh, Gary Peters, I believe. I forgot about that. I'm going to send that to Gary now because I think he signs. Yeah, I saw this on somebody else's video. I forgot all about it when I sent this to him because I was wondering why he signed clear over there sideways like that. Then I remembered, yeah, that doesn't look like him. It's not him at all. <laughs> That's awesome. I put that on top just for that. Can't wait to get the other one back. It'll be cool. Four for four in 15 days. Ah, are you ready for some football? Are you ready for it? All right, nice. Hank Williams Jr. I had this old playing card set. I'll probably, I well, can't sell it on eBay like that ever. If you do, you'll get your account stricken from it. But, uh, like I guess I'm going to try to send off the whole set and have him sign them I think it'd be a nice little collection to have and then I got these in a, a box of music cards country music cards that I bought but he signed four or four nice that's pretty awesome I do like the playing card best though but like I said I'm also an eBay seller I don't sell this stuff on eBay this is my own personal collection but if you are an eBay seller you can't sell anything with that flag on it You'll get your account taken away. Nice. One for one in 15 days. Usually means it's a pretty good one. Whoop, take that back. Two for two. Tell you what happened was, there again, I sent two different letters out. I knew I sent this one out. I didn't know I sent that one out. They both I sent with $5. Uh, it was $5 per card, and they just happened to go two different envelopes. I should have just sent them in one envelope. And just sent him with the 10 bucks and saved the postage. But uh, yeah, Sonny Jurgensen, 71 tops. Like I said, $5 each. Best $10 I ever spent. I can't think of anybody's autograph that I would rather have for $5 than Sonny Jurgensen. He was one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So if you don't have your Sonny Jurgensen's yet, get it. Him and Len Dawson are both great deals at five bucks a piece. One for one in 14 days. We can't get any better than Lenny Dawson, can we? Ah, it's Hall of Famer. Larry Diddle. 1973 card. I finally was able to get a card of him. And our very last one right here. Man, who could be better than that? Is there anybody better than that? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Here's number sixteen. Two for two in thirty-two days. I finally got this back. I have been wanting this back for a long time. You guys recognize that guy. It's the king. 
Richard Petty. This is a picture I took of Richard signing an autograph for me at the Super Bowl uh, party down at South Beach, somewhere in the 90s. So uh, this is going to be awesome to stick in my album. I love cards I can put in my album. Actually, it's photos. And this is one you saw on my, if you watch any of my other videos, my eBay videos and stuff, I bought this with like three cars, and those three cars come with ten extra cards. And the the cars were all beat up and dirty, and I wasn't going to be able to sell them as cars, so I thought, I'll just open those up and see if there's any good cards in there I can send to these NASCAR guys and put in my collection. And sure enough, there's Richard Petty in that stack of ten. Uh, so I sent it off to him right away. 30, what, three, 32 days later, got it back. It was free of charge. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I, I am, this is like one of the best days I've had in a long time. All right, guys, what do you think? That's 16 returns that we had. Actually, 17 because the one Sonny Jurgensen was sent separately. But so, 17 returns. And one, two, three, four, I guess you could say five. Five Hall of Famers because I'm sure Hank Williams Jr. is in, a, in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Or he's got to be in several Hall of Fames. But, uh... What do you think, guys? What's your favorite? My favorite is probably the... Man, that's a tough call, man. I got some such good ones. I'm going to have to say the Petty, my, my photo of Petty. Man, it's so tough because I really like that Sonny Jurgensen. I really like that Hank Williams Jr. playing card, too, man. It's, could it be a, can it be a tie for your top, top one, the, the three of them? Maybe it's a three-way tie. I don't know. It's just some really awesome cards. Hey, let me know what you guys think. I'm glad you guys are watching the channel. I said I enjoy watching your channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, please hit all. That way you get to see all my videos. I have massive haul videos like this all the time. I mean, just about every day. The reason this one is so big, I ended up getting, uh, you know, like 10 of them today and like 7 of them yesterday, and I just didn't feel like doing a video yesterday because I do my video in a studio that's, you know, in another state, but it's only like a mile from my house, but, you know, I live on the border. But I just didn't feel like coming over here and shooting it. But let me know what you guys think. Have a good one. Peace.